Hello, this is HD Wingnut, and today I thought I'd show you the NVIDIA G-Sync technology in the Sager NP9773 laptop based on the Clevo P770ZM-G, the G standing for G-Sync. Um, but before we get to that, I'd like to, you to take your focus to the video, and uh, this is the NVIDIA provided uh, pendulum demo, which highlights the G-Sync technology. And you can see in the upper left, there's three checkboxes, G-Sync, No-Sync, and V-Sync. And as this video goes, those will uh, be checked. And the frame rate also varies between 40 to 60 FPS. And hopefully you can see the visual difference in the fluidness of that uh, pendulum, uh, depending on which is checked. And the G-Sync should be the most fluid. In any case, uh, getting to the other point, though, on that is um, it may be difficult to tell, though, because uh, because of the video recording technology, encoding, and compression um, that takes place between my computer and YouTube as well, uh, you may lose the visual acuity that you need to really see the difference. But if you're used to uh, tearing and stuttering in games, uh, you know what I'm talking about. So basically, what is G-Sync? G-Sync syncs every frame, um, regardless of what the frame rate is. So um, it basically so it eliminates any of that tearing and stuttering that you typically see. Uh, what do you need to get uh, G-Sync in a laptop? Well, there's a select few laptops that have it. The Sager NP9773 is one of them, uh, but it requires a NVIDIA video card that is G-Sync, I guess, approved or enabled. Um, it requires a G-Sync license embedded in the laptop, and it requires an LCD that is also G-Sync approved and uh, apparently it needs the EDP interface. Um, now, how do you enable G-Sync? Well, it's as simple as going into the NVIDIA control panel and clicking a checkbox, enable or disable V-Sync. It works in windowed, windowed mode or in uh, full screen mode, too. Um, you can definitely tell the uh, difference um, if you're seeing it firsthand, and I if you were interested in this, I'd, I'd see if you could actually get your eyes on it, because that's only the real way to tell. Um, but uh, the difference is astounding depending on the game. You know, if you have a game that typically tears or stutters a lot, it definitely will improve it, no doubt about it. Um, so in this case, I'm showing this pendulum demo provided by um, NVIDIA. And I'm also going to show a uh, two benchmarks, Grand Theft Auto V and Metro Last Light Redux because they seem to exhibit the worst uh, tearing and stuttering during the benchmark when there's no G-Sync or V-Sync or anything enabled. Uh, but again, not sure if you'll be able to see it because of the uh, recording, encoding, and compression technologies used as this uh, makes its way over to YouTube. In any case, um, hope that helps and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I wanted to add one more thing is that uh, input lag. Um, typically, there's input lag with traditional V-Sync. Uh, the good thing is with uh, G-Sync, there is no input lag, so it uh, resolves that issue as well. I just thought I'd bring that up.